Hey guys, it's me, Audith, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a video of Nelson Mandela that I did for a school project. I did not have any video ready for today, and also since it's May, the month of change for me because hashtag a AAPI History Month, Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage History Month. So, if any Asian friend comes up to you and I want your soul, you should get to me. Um, so yeah, um, and, um, I hope you enjoy, I'm sorry for the dramaticness of this video, it was for a school project, so. and an icon who inspired many. But What's my motivation? Really? I chose to do Nelson Mandela because I knew very little about him. All I knew was that he was a political prisoner and then became president, and he was also inspired by Gandhi to change his history. Then I read Born a Crime by Trevor Noah, and it gave a little backstory to Africa. I was instantly hooked on the idea of it and how it was stopped. Nelson Mandela and Ankh were in the book, and when I saw him on the list, I knew he was the one that I wanted. Plus, I feel like the school doesn't teach us enough about racism and white supremacy, so I wanted to take it into my own hands to learn about it. Context. The government attempted to silence communities by destroying small African opposition groups and even eliminating thousands. Nelson Mandela was born on July 8th of 1918 to a royal family of a Zoxa speaking tribe, now one of the 11 official languages of South Africa. His birth name is Rolish well, you might be wondering, how do you end up with the name Nelson? Well, back in the day, it was common to get a European name to be accepted into jobs and such. He left his tribe to avoid arranged marriage and went to University College of Fort Hare, but later got suspended for protesting. He was introduced to Walter Sisulu, one of the leaders of the African National Congress, an organization protesting for human rights for all races. When he moved to Soweto, a township, which is a designated neighborhood for black people or one of the only neighborhoods where black people were allowed. He later joined the organization. At first, they were peaceful in their protests. For example, the African National Congress, or the ANG, called for steps to get to racial equality, but the government arrested them for treason. In 1960, the police shot more than 200 unarmed protesters. Nelson Mandela, exhausted from the unsuccessful attempts, turned to a more violent type of protesting. When the government found out about him creating a military wing, Mandela was forced to flee. He was caught in 1962 and sentenced to five years in prison, but was later sentenced to life in prison for sabotage, violence, conspiracy, and treason. In 1960, Mandela was freed in his 27th year as a political prisoner. Contribution. When Mandela joined the ANC in 1944, he founded the Youth League. In 1940, Mandela officially joined the National Executive Committee of the ANC. He became a lawyer after excelling on the qualification test, which later helped him with his speeches. Mandela specialized in cases created by the apartheid legislation in 1948, after initiating the first black law practice in South Africa. He became highly influential and joined the leadership of the African National Congress and was crucial in the resistance to South Africa's racist laws. The Freedom Charter was outlined in 1955 by Nelson Mandela, which was a contract requesting equality. Mandela became a wanted fugitive after helping create the military wing called the Spear of the Nation. He was sentenced to life in prison. The corrupt government of South Africa made proposals of freedom to Nelson Mandela if he lived in a controversial township and stopped using violence. Nelson Mandela became president of the African National Congress in the summer of 1991. And in that position, he negotiated with the clerk, the South African president, about ending apartheid. He was the first black president and the first fully democratically elected president of South Africa in April of 1994, when black and color red people were allowed to vote. Mandela created a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to explore and to look into human rights that were overstepped and breached during apartheid while improving living conditions. He supervised a new constitution in 1996 and was humble enough not to ask for a second term as president. Nelson Mandela became a member of the elders, a group of well, the elderly, who encouraged conflict solving all around the globe. Impact. The government restricted Mandela access to different cities in attempts to silence him. He dodged the death penalty by a slim chance and was instead sentenced to life in prison 
1964. Although he was in prison, he maintained support among South Africa and became a symbol of oppression to the nations that were close to Africa. Around 1982, when Nelson Mandela was in his 19th year of prison, Winnie Mandela, his wife, campaigned for his freedom, which multiplied in support internationally due to his popularity. Many out-of-country companies refused to work with South Africa until apartheid was over. The government, under pressure, decided to meet with Nelson Mandela privately. Freedom was granted to Nelson Mandela in the earlier part of 1990. Mandela and de Klerk earned the Nobel Peace Prize together in 1963. Mandela Day first celebrated on July 8th of 2010 in the United Nations, which if you've been paying attention, would realize that it, that is also his birthday, which originated to celebrate his accomplishments and it encourages individuals to give 67 minutes of the day to complete acts of service for the 67 years that Nelson Mandela spent fighting for racial equality. Make sure you like, subscribe, and post notifications on all of my socials, which will be the notifications, turn post notifications on and share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!